Hey, and welcome back to Ancient Ways for Modern Days. My name is Mike Freeman, and uh, and here's where we are today in this uh, this great journey through the Gospel of John, looking at each of these passages really with a devotional mind. Right, where we're at today is Jesus has just described the 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 coming death, the the expectation that he has to sacrifice himself, and now. After letting these words come off of his lips, we find a moment of uh, just a, really a, a moment of vulnerability in Jesus. A moment where he's he's wrestling with the the weight of 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 the task ahead of him. And I want us to see his his attitude despite the weight of the task ahead of him. Look with me, John chapter twelve verses twenty seven through twenty eight. Here's what Jesus says. Uh, really, after describing that he's expecting to die, he says. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. This is incredible. I want us to understand in this moment of Jesus, he's looking down the the road ahead and he's seeing the suffering that's waiting for him. He is expecting that. And he says, man, this, this troubles my soul. This is a burden. This is a weight. This is hard. He says, what am I going to say? Am I going to pray to the Heavenly Father that he would remove this task from me? He says, no, this is, this is the purpose that I've come to this very hour. And now his response, he says, Father, glorify your name. He says, I know this is going to be suffering. I know this is going to be hard. I know this is going to be painful. I know that I'm going to die. And yet my goal, my purpose is that the the father and the father's name will be glorified. This is where Jesus lands in a moment of great vulnerability, in a moment of sorrow and suffering that's waiting for him, in a moment of, of potential weakness where he is, he, you know, I, I don't think he actually wavers here, but, but he could. He's looking at all of what waits for him. And he says, what should I pray? Should I ask God to take it away? No, this is my purpose. And then he boldly prays, Father, glorify your name. Now, Look at the Father's response. A voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. See, we, we've, we know that God's glorified it because we go all the way back to chapter 1. It says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory. Glory of the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. God has glorified his name in the incarnation. God is going to glorify his name in Christ and his crucifixion. And God will glorify his name again in the resurrection. And God will glorify his name. Jesus' prayer is that the Father would glorify his name. Now, the ancient way for our modern day, it's incredible. First of all, it's to, to, to understand the depth, depth of sacrifice that was given for us. We must understand that this was not an easy task. Jesus, in this moment, he thought about it. I could pray that God would take this away, but yet he doesn't. Instead, he prays that God would glorify his name. Which the second part of this ancient way for our modern day then is really to see in those moments when you and I, when we are... We are looking at suffering. In this mo- those moments when we are facing difficulty, in those moments we may very well be tempted. God, take away this difficulty from me. Take away this suffering. Take away this persecution. And yet, Jesus, in his model prayer, that's not what he prays. Instead, he, he prays, God, glorify your name. See, the ancient way for our modern day is, first of all, to recognize the great sacrifice of Christ. But then secondly, it's to, to follow in his likeness. When we are suffering, our prayer is not, God, make it easy. Our prayer is, Lord, be glorified in my suffering. This is, this is a true mark of Christian maturity. This is a true mark of faith. It's not to escape the suffering, but rather it is to look for God to be glorified in the suffering this is our ancient way for our modern day. Let me ask you, 
Are you willing, when this video comes to a conclusion, will you turn this off and will you take a moment and go to the Father? And instead of saying, God, will you fix my life? Will you make all these hardships go away? Will you say, Father, glorify your name even in my weakness and in my suffering and in my difficulty, even in my hardship. God, glorify your name. Well, this is our ancient way for our modern day.